Ever wanted the most exclusive t-shirt in GTA Online? This is the Elite Challenge t-shirt, which is only available to those players who have completed all five of the Elite Challenges in the original heist. Widely regarded as the hardest to complete based on how little time you have to get them done, and only worn by the very best GTA players. Well, you all look good, hmm? In this video, I'm going to be guiding you through how to complete all three roles in the Humane Labs raid in under 11 minutes to get that elite challenge. You first want to buy this property at North Conquer Ave, which you can purchase from the Dynasty 8 website for $762,000. You then have to make sure you have bought the heavy utility vest from a clothing store. Welcome to Suburban. You can find them by going to Tops, Utility Vest, Heavy Utility Vest. Choose either the grey or the black. This is the latest collection, if you can believe it. Then make sure you save your outfit. Wearing this vest in the OG heist gives you so much more protection, but the trade-off is that it makes your character slower. If you can make it quick, I was in the middle of a blog post. We all love banks! Hmm? Keep it simple. You go in heavy, you go in well armed. Some of you will do crowd control. The vault team will go downstairs, blow the first vault door with the thermal charges, then use the card to get into the network and open the second vault door. And then look out, because you'll have about two minutes before every cop in town is waiting for you outside the bank. So you move fast, you get on the bikes, you split, and then we meet at the rendezvous point, okay? Good luck, people. Nothing can go wrong. It's uh, all good. In the setup, make sure the host has heist clothing set to player-saved outfits. There are three roles for this heist. Demolition, Hacker, and two players for the crowd control team. Be sure to each wear your heavy utility vest and choose a two-seater bike as your vehicle. The Elite Challenge timer starts as soon as the green banner comes down. Two players on one bike, two players on the other bike. The first bike team to arrive should hit the yellow checkpoint, with the second team heading straight for the bank doors in just 35 seconds. Get their faces, shout at them. Demolition should run straight to the door with the charges, which can only be activated once the first two guards are killed. While wearing the heavy utility vest, running is much slower, so use the jump function for maximum speed. You can save yourself a few more seconds by using the up and atomizer to launch yourself over the fence and in position to place the next thermal charge. In order to keep the intimidation bar up, the crowd control team only has to hold an RPG. Once in, the hacker can run straight to the vault lock and let the demolition handle the two guards. The hacker clicks on my computer, external hard drive, and then brute force. The hacking is very easy, as you just need to spell out an eight-letter word. Someone, this thing is going to get a whole lot more difficult. I'm reading you loud and clear. That's it. The vault door is opening. It's like a movie. I'm reading you. Demolitions. Use the remaining thermal explosives on the titanium gates in the vault. Get it. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> While Demolition plants one more thermal charge, one of the crowd control team should follow, while the other crowd control team member stays upstairs to take out any more guards. The reason you want a crowd control member in the vault is because sometimes this door stays open and makes it difficult for the money grubbers to get out smoothly.
With cash secured, keep jumping out of the vault and into first person to climb the stairs faster. The meet at the main doors in about 3 minutes and 50 seconds. When heading out of the bank, ignore all the police to the right and just take out those on your route to the left. As before, keep jumping when wearing the heavy utility vest, then take this shortcut which will also mean fewer police. Ensure you all hit the last two checkpoints before doubling back around this building. Move and fire! Move and fire! Don't let them corner you! As a general rule, have it that whoever is leading take out the cops where necessary, giving the ones behind a chance to catch up. Now, make a play for the bikes, so they're up ahead where you stashed them behind that apartment building. Throughout this run, we used a selection of weapons including RPGs, explosive ammo for pump action shotguns and sniper rifles, as well as assault rifles. When you get to the bikes, have it pre-planned as to which ones you'll get on. Getting on a bike with a teammate, even accidentally, will mean more cops along the escape route. Towards our boat. Stay together or go a different way if you want, but this will be the safest route. I like the way you operate. It is now vital that all four players stick together. If one player goes too far ahead, it makes a real mess with the traffic and cops for those behind, making it even more difficult to escape in time. There will be several roadblocks along the way with various loose police cars trying to knock you off your bike. Slip off road to the side if there doesn't look like there's going to be a way past. Right about now, the CEO of Pack Standard is calling the mayor. He's probably patched in the chair of the Union Depository, and they're all about to tear the ass out of the chief of police. Cops on the street will be highly motivated to bring you down, but you don't need to worry about that. Just get to Rat Canyon. The route shown here is by far the fastest, only deviating from it if you need to avoid some traffic. From this point on, it's all uphill on your bikes. You can boost if you need to, but only do this in short bursts. Or alternatively, you can wheelie slightly in certain places for extra speed. It's vitally important that you still have around half of your boost left by the time you get to the top. The route on the mountain is quite easy to learn, as you can just follow the peaks on the incline.
And now for the most important and badass part. When you reach the very top, drive off to the very right and boost off the mountain. Then jump off and either glide down or parachute to the awaiting dinghy. The Elite Challenge timer will stop once all four players are successfully in the dinghy. much but you you creepy and quiet weirdo creepy quiet weirdos with talent uh, I'm not well at all I, uh... okay the money here and here and here and Pacific standard job complete in 9 minutes and 38 seconds. So if you found this video useful, please leave it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down. Oh, my friends. And I'll see you in the next one. Geniuses! <laughs> <laughs>